Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, it's Zachary again with Backyard DIY. Here on this video, I am going to be showing you the air lines that I ran for my compressor. Um, I think I have another video where I show you bringing this compressor home for the first time. And then I believe the same video shows you the electrical socket for it. But um, this one's all about the airline I did. And even though it's a small garage, I overdid it just to see if it w would work and because I wanted to I guess but uh, so what I did is the compressors a used one I got off of just Craigslist or whatever I believe it was like the Facebook marketplace or whatever they use now but um, it's 60 gallons it does pretty good about 120 I believe 125 psi is what it tops out at what I did is I removed the drain petcock because it was bad anyways and I don't trust them and I just put a 90 degree quarter and then I cut a 3 8 hose and I have the 3 8 hose that comes up here and it's just you know for temporary now it's just got that I'll probably mount this later to the wall um, just a hook so I can just hang it there instead of hanging it right from the compressor but that's where it hangs right now and that's my drain so you can eat, you know, it's three, four foot, and you can just. <laughs> well, clearly, it needed it, so you can drain it out that way, instead of having to crawl underneath it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then on the other side, I had to reduce it way down from uh, whatever I don't remember the sizes, but it was a really large size, and it was a pain in the butt to find it. Um, and then put a ton of uh, actual pipe putty and then tape around the pipe putty just to make sure it's a good fit on all of these different reducers and then 90 degree out of it and then I have a ball valve to shut off my supply for my whole garage here and then I have a rubber line just a quick rubber line that runs up and then it runs up to my air dryers. <clears throat> the reason why I chose to do rubber and the rest of my line is hard line is because I want this motor to be able to vibrate independently from my all of my lines that are up, screwed to my wall. I didn't want to worry about that with vibrating my wall or whatever or making bolts come loose. So that's why that's rubber. Then I just have the standard strap holding it up for, for the weight of the line going into nothing special here just a Harbor Freight um, air dryer the standard large particulate and then the decadent desiccant that word yeah that word um, so these are according to the instructions these are going to be these are bad already because they're pink they're supposed to be dark blue so I gotta change those out uh, this dryer is pretty cool. I, don't, I mean, how do, how do I know how well it works? I have no idea, but uh, as far as its operation, um, it works fine. I haven't had any problems with it, and I, and I like it. Uh, it's like $60, I believe. Maybe $50, I'm not sure. Uh, you, all you do is pull down on these and then quarter turn on both to get them out. Um, reduce down or I'm sorry, increase from quarter up to half inch pecs and then I used alligator clamps or pecs clamps or whatever you want to call it because you can remove those. This is the whole point of this project was to use pecs piping instead of using airline or using brass or whatever because I wanted to be able to change it as much as I wanted with these connections and then also I just like the idea of having a bendable lines that are solid uh, these are rated I think to 190 psi or something like that and like I said my compressor can only go to 120 so there's no issue there I've been using it now for a while and I wanted to use it for a while before I made this video and said that everything's fine and I haven't had any problems with it yet 
I've got to get a longer line on this. This is just my drop down line and I'm going to put um, just this is just for um, condensation that comes back down the line and you just open that up for your drain there. Um, forewarning all of these connection styles for PEX are extremely expensive so if you have a large garage this would be a good project but for mine it was kind of way overkill to use th this whole setup because one line of hose could reach my whole garage anyways but whatever made a video and had fun doing it so the T goes up and I just use this for extra support for now I'll trim it up and make it look better later I just wanted to get it together elbows <clears throat> at my rafters screwed into all of my rafters comes out to almost right dead center of the length of my garage and then it tees going both ways and I got a bow in that <laughs> I gotta fix that bow so and then it goes this way as well and runs along the top this one I have to get more line for it ran out of line so I just have a shut off valve on it for now just so I can use the, the air but that's gonna come down here after I clean this mess and it's gonna have a, a mount right there at the uh, bench right next to my toolbox that's messy as well that's not the point of this video don't worry about that <laughs> and then goes over here and this is the one I'm using now those are just there um, just to get them out of the way those don't hold anything or whatever <clears throat> comes down spliced in a piece so this is just a double connection and then I've got a 90 degree threaded on one side pex on the other pex alligator on the other side and reducers back from half inch back down to quarter and then all my lines are quarter so I got this actually mounted pretty good in there I don't have to worry I was worried about making sure it was tight enough to not fall out but it's working good and then the whole idea behind that is I have um, you know airlines connections on both sides of my garage compressors all the way back there and then you know the other connection is going to be over there behind the whole mess after I clean that and then I think I might just for the fun of it I might put a reel style right there at the center but I'm not sure yet because I'm already overkill with that 15 foot hose right there I can pretty much reach almost to the other side so this garage is very small you'll see me complain about that in a lot of other videos but uh, that's the end of this video that's showing you my compressor my setup the way I did it my drain my the 220 in my other video for it the rubber lines the PEX line all that stuff so that's it for this video and uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel where I try to post videos every Wednesday um, I said in the last video I would like you to tell me if there's another time that would work better I've just been doing five o'clock I believe or seven o'clock I think five o'clock on Wednesday if a bet better time I don't know what would be better later at night or first thing in the morning whatever uh, if you're subscribed make sure you click on the bell in the top corner it will notify you once I post a new video and comment I'm always answering those and click the like button thanks again for watching backyard DIY this is Zachary I can't wait to see you again